Hi there, welcome to this review of Roller Valley Optics Horizon 72 ED refractor. And you can see here I've got the refractor mounted on, on a mount here. And it's a 72mm uh, ED APO uh, F6, so pretty fast. And it also comes with a nice uh, guide scope fitted that you can see here, a 50mm guide scope. Now this is, there are lots of nice features with this telescope, uh, for the price in particular. So you can see we've got a nice two inch focuser, uh, which is also dual speed. So you have uh, micro focusing, for really fine focusing as well. Uh, it also has uh, a really nice, as I mentioned, 50mm guide scope, which is fully adjustable as well. Uh, very nice touch. This telescope uh, also comes with some other nice touches as well. So for example, we, we can see here, we've got uh, an optical test report that comes with the telescope, um, which allows you to see the quality of the optics. And you can see here that um, the optics are actually figured to a very high quality. Uh, we've got 0.95 strel, so uh, very sharp star images. And from my own experience in just using this uh, recently for observing and imaging, it certainly backs up the figures you can see here in the test report. Very sharp, contrasty star images with uh, very well corrected colour. Um, ideal for wide field imaging. It's very light and portable, only weighs a few kilos, so you can mount it on almost anything, uh, which, which is ideal. Another particularly useful accessory the telescope comes with is uh, this uh, field flattener that you can use, uh, particularly if you want sharp star images across a wide field of view using a large digital SLR camera, uh, full frame camera, something like that. So we'll, we'll get nice sharp images. And I actually did use the telescope recently um, to image Comet Neowise and it gave excellent results. So it's a, a telescope well worth considering um, for, for the price. Uh, I think it's around uh, several hundred pounds for the, for the whole package. But you get a lot, a lot for your money and it's very nicely made. Uh, another particularly good touch uh, quite an advanced touch really for a refractor is actually having a collimatable uh, cell for the uh, objective lens. So that, that's a, a nice touch if it does need adjusting, which this unit, uh, this unit didn't. It was in perfect collimation already. But otherwise, um, a, a really nice uh, portable scope, and I'm sure many of you would uh, find it really uh, useful for wide field imaging. Um, so that pretty much uh, covers this uh, short review and I'll see you again soon.